God bless you all. My name is Luz Divina Torres, and I am from Luz Divina by Grace Ministries. And I am here to share a powerful word with you all that has impacted my life. And I hope and pray that this word also impacts your life as it has done with me. Today, I want to talk about being what God has called you to be. And in doing so, it's going to take a whole lot. It's going to take for you to get up and rise and believe that God has called you to do mighty and powerful things, that God has called you to be of a, of a rescue to somebody else, that God has called you to preach his word, that God has called you to serve with excellence wherever you are. And doesn't matter what industry you are, God has called you to serve with excellence. And today I wanna to talk about that it begins with you. And I wanna start with, it begins with you because a lot of times we struggle with acknowledging that a lot of, life's failures start within ourselves. It starts with things that we fail to do or that we lack to do because we don't believe that we could do it. Or we have been told that we are not able to do it. And this is something that I've had experience and I have struggled with throughout my whole life. Until one day I realized that God has called me to be what he said I'm gonna be. And it took boldness and it took for me to have the ear to listen and to believe with my whole heart that God wanted the best for me, that God had a purpose for my life, and that God had equipped me to fulfill that purpose. See, in Proverbs 13, verse 4, it says, The soul of a lazy man desires and has nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made rich. You see, when when you lack faith, when you lack purpose, when you lack value within yourself, your soul becomes lazy, your soul becomes heavy, and your soul becomes weak. But when the soul is vigilant, it's because it has found its purpose in the Lord. As I was going to work last week, I started listening to a powerful speaker, Inky Johnson. And he said something that stood out to me. And it stood out to me because I was going to work and just waking up and saying to myself, I'm going to do the same thing that I do every day. And one thing that stood out that impacted my day that day when I was hearing it was that he said, and I quote, I owe people one thing. I owe to give you excellence when I'm in your presence. And one thing that I love that he was expressing was that it didn't matter what type of job you had. It didn't matter if you was the housekeeper. It didn't matter if you was the waitress. It didn't matter if you was the banker. It didn't matter if you was the doctor or if you was the nurse. What he was saying was that he owes, whatever you are, whatever position you hold, you owe to give your best service as if you were giving it for the Lord. And I remember going into work that day and I remember feeling overwhelmed of doing the same thing and probably being one of the few that keeps doing what they should be doing. And those words impacted me and kept reminding me that I was there to be of a servant, that I was there to serve, but to serve with excellence. No matter what I was facing, no matter who was doing the opposite, God had called me to make a difference. God had called me to impact. God had called me to offer my services to whoever was there as if I was serving him. In Proverbs 14, 35, it says that the king's favor is toward a wise servant, but his wharf is against him that caused shame. Now my question to you is, when you wake up in the morning, do you wake up with an attitude of a servant? Or do you wake up wanting to cause shame? See, a lot of us go to work, go about our business, and we just go with a selfish mindset. We go with this mindset that is all about me and it's only me. And God is calling us to get out of that mindset. That's not his concept. That's not what he has called us to be. God has called us to serve in the middle of crisis, to serve in the middle of confusion, 
to be a servant when those don't want to serve around us. And we're starting to see this so often now. Everywhere you go, it doesn't matter where you go. You have a few, maybe one or two in the midst of you that actually want to serve as if they were serving a king, as if they were serving somebody higher to them. And I want to invite you and tell you today that it begins with you. The difference begins with you. If you're waiting for somebody to serve you the right way in order for you to pay it back, I'm telling you, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. Because God is calling you to make the change, to be the impact, to be the servant, to be of service. We have to get out that mindset that I come first. I have to be served first. Things don't work that way. Because Jesus himself didn't come to be served, but he came to serve. And there's no better example than the one that he provided us. And I want to encourage you to step out of that spirit of laziness, of that spirit of selfishness. And I want you to step out in faith, knowing that God has called you to serve with excellence, that you have the tools, that you have been equipped to shine and, and shine your light bright. And in this day, I want to let you know that if you fail to serve, that tomorrow, tomorrow you have another opportunity to serve with excellence. You have what it takes. And it begins with you. I hope this message has blessed you. Follow me on YouTube. Luz Divina. By His Grace Ministries. God bless you all.